So we're looking at 3.8, the remainder operation. And let's go ahead and delete almost all this code. We're still going to need the scanner. So I'm using Alt-Shift to move it up. Uh, don't need the name. So we're going to get a number of inches. And then I'm going to need some more ints. I want to convert the inches to number of feet and inches. Uh, so for example, uh, maybe uh, 15 inches would be 1 foot 3 inch. Uh, so, so we have a problem we can't name the both inches. Uh, so I'll go total inches, inches, and then feet. Don't need that. We'll ask how many inches, and then we'll store that in total inches. Don't need any of this. Uh, we'll obviously need to adjust this print statement at the bottom so that it gives us what we want. Uh, let's see, total inches. All right, if you can't spell, uh, NetBeans does not know uh, that these two are the same. My eyes thought they were. Clearly they're not because if I highlight one, the other's not highlighted and vice versa. There's an E in inches. So there we go. Now it's all good. All right. So how do we do this? Um, we can find the feet. We can just divide. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll put... Um, out of here. So we need to assign feet. So feet equals total inches divided by 12. Uh, and then we'll just print out uh, that number that's in feet. So we'll run this F6. How many inches? I'll do 15. So that has one foot in it. Now of course it's not exactly one foot. There's some inches left over. And what we're going to do is use the modulo operation. Oh, well, first of all, I just did 15 divided by 12. Clearly, that's not 1. Uh, but uh, if we want to do this as a, a decimal, I could divide by 12.0. But of course, I can't store it in, in an integer, because if I divide a integer by a decimal or by a double, I'm going to get a double. Let me comment out the first one. So now, of course, this better go into a uh, F right there. So now if I run it, how many inches? 15. You're going to see that the actual number here would be what you'd expect on a calculator. Uh, all right, so we'll go back. And it's only because I divided, if I just take that point zero off and run it again, 15, look at that. What happened here? Well, whenever you have an integer divided by an integer, it has to be an integer. And so 15 divided by 12 is an integer. Yes, is one point something, but the something disappears. Uh, and so you just throw away your decimal if you divide. Uh, the good news is this is actually what we want for the number of feet. Uh, now we want to know how many inches. Now inches are, if you divide by 12, it would be the remainder. Uh, so just thinking about long division, if you divide by 12, it would be the remainder. And right here, the modulus operator is the percent. So we're going to go inches equals, oh wow, I can't spell, total inches uh, modulus 12. Uh, now I better put in inches, oh my goodness, all right, beat inches percent D, so it gives me a decimal, decimal, and now run that, how many inches, 15, and that's one, one foot three inches, uh, you could format it single quote 
Now, I don't want to do a double quill. If I do want to double quill it, I better escape it. Now, I can also get away with a double single quote. <laughs> uh, how many inches? 15. Uh, yeah, I like the uh, escape double quote better. All right, so that was good. One foot, three inches. Um, we'll run it again. How many inches? We'll do, I don't know, 73, six foot one. Okay, so this is a nice little converter right here. All right, and there's a, another version of, of something very similar right there. So look at this scanner bug and go through that. Um, and what happens, uh, basically new lines uh, are tokens, and they, or new lines separate tokens, and so you don't always get exactly what you think. Um, if uh, when you do next int, uh, next line is pretty useful, but sometimes it gives you a lot more information than you want, and it always returns a string. So it's not good for grabbing numbers. Now, you should be wondering, what else can I read in? So if I do in dot, this will tell you everything that uh, the scanner, all the methods the scanner has. So obviously we're doing next, next, next. So if I do in dot next right here, this tells you all the next that you can grab. So ones I was thinking about are double or float. So those are going to be very useful. The other one's much less useful. Um, so I would say either just next, next double, next float, next int, or next line. Those are the, the, th the five you're going to use pretty frequently. And again, to get there, you just type the object name. So this is the scanner in right here, dot, and it tells you all the methods and just type next and it will tell you all the ones to begin with next and that is super useful.